guys, Dave here. Katie here. RN RV Chronicles. All right. Hey, listen. Uh, oh, and there's Gunner. He's down there, standing right down there. <laughs> Look up, oh, yeah. There he is. <laughs> it's always at our feet. All right. So we actually made it to Mesa. Yahoo! Um, however, with the new motor home, there is a open. Um, what is it called? Warranty filled campaign. Basically, it's a recall. Well, not quite a recall because if you don't know about this, it's not going to get taken care of because they're not going to send anything out to you or anything like that. Uh, I found out uh, through um, another YouTube channel and I will put a, um, a video clip and some pictures up on this and a link of where you can go get it. I will tell you this, if you have a 2000, I don't know, if you have a Cummings motor in your in your um, uh, motor home, give Cummings a call, give them the serial number of your engine and see if you qualify for this. If you fall underneath it, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's the campaign number is C2112. It is replacing the C2112-B campaign that was dated 13th of December of 2019. Uh, the new expiration date for this, because they extended it, is uh, the 22nd of February of 2024. So you've got roughly right around two months, not quite, but about that, to get this taken care of. You just give them a quick call. They're super nice at um, Cummings, good people. They'll help you out. They'll figure out whether or not you fall underneath it or if you don't. But it is to actually replace the SCR, which is the Selective Catalyst Reduction. Selective. Catalyst Reduction is what it stands for. So hold that. And um, if you don't get this replaced underneath them, this is free of charge, by the way. If you don't get it replaced with them and later on that thing goes bad, you're probably looking at around a four, three, four, five thousand dollar bill. So definitely give them a call and uh, get this thing checked out. We're going to document us. We're going to be leaving in the morning, head over, and we're going to document our experience with them taking care of the situation. And uh, yeah, so guess what? You get to follow along. You get to follow along, but not only that, but by the magic of let me get this ready by the magic of video editing you'll be with us tomorrow all righty so it's early in the morning and our dog gunner this is his meal for this morning. Mm, what is good. that? A mixture of what, Katie? It looks delicious. It's ground beef and beef livers mixed in with Dr. Harvey's Paradigm Food, which is a superfood blend that I make ahead of time. Mix it with water. It's like flaky make with water. It's food grade, um, human grade, actually. And then I put some coconut oil in it, put some kefir, some cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. And I'm telling you, he's being very good and waiting for that. <laughs> yes. He's like, come on here, people. Being good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, so let's see. Now, Kate, or uh, Gunner, we're going to okay. go to a widescreen uh -uh. because Gunner has to go through his little routine in order to get his food. So, Katie will show us. Okay. Uh -uh. Right, right. Sit. Sit. Right. Over here. Uh -uh. Over here. Sit. Lay down. Uh -uh. Roll over. Roll over. Sit. Thank you. Uh -huh.
<laughs> it was a little. It's a little it's slippery because there's little, no carpet here. Today. Normally he does it like spot on. Like well, we don't have to say a word. That's because he was slipping he on was the. Slipping. It yeah. was sitting down and yeah. he needs a carpet to sit. This floor is very slippery for him and that's why. So, yeah. but yeah, he did. He did a good job. But anyways, it what are we doing? Cummins Dealer Service Day. Yeah. Cummins Service Day. So yeah, service day. Yeah, not dealer, but we get to unhook and pack up and drive over there and see what they need to do for the SCR Catalyst. Is that it? Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> SCR or whatever. It's. It, I don't even. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking so, about. So yeah, I'll show All you right. guys here in a little bit of exactly what it is and that. So. All right, got to get outside and get things unhooked here. So let's get ourselves moving. So we are here at the Cummings dealer here right off of Cory Road in Mesa, Arizona. And uh, yeah, we're going to go in here and find out and see what everything we need to have to get uh, this taken care of. And we're parked right next door to a Ventana. Yeah. Quick. My name's Andres. And, that, and we're going to go ahead and get this taken care of here, guys. So uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. So let me catch up on what's happening here. We're actually back at the RV park currently right now. And um, they are they did not have the part in stock, so they have to order it. They do not know as of yet how long it's going to take. So we still have an open, uh, an open uh, receipt right now. And uh, yeah. So we will have to go back probably, I'm not sure if it will be tomorrow or the next day or next week or two weeks. We don't know. Uh, we should be getting a phone call here a little bit later today and they will let us know how, on how fast they can get the parts. So this saga continues. Okay guys, we made it here. We are at the Cummins dealer here on Cory Drive in Mesa, Arizona. We are going to be replacing our SCR. <coughs> and um, I'll tell you how this worked for us anyways. And I'm finding out that it's working this way for quite a few people. You're gonna to have to bring the product in. They're gonna to check to see the serial number on the SCR, be able to see if it's in stock. If it's not in stock, they have to order it. It could take up to a week before they get it and you got to bring your coach back or if you have the opportunity to leave it here 
go replace it. There you go, you're done. So we left because we're in it here in Mesa. So we're gonna, we brought it back. It's been about a week now. We brought it back and they're gonna go ahead and install it. So guys, yeah, I'm telling you, this is important. It's part of your uh, death system, your, your uh, emission system. And um, it's a pretty hefty bill in order for you to uh, uh, have it replaced. I'm not sure how they're gonna be showing us the bill here, but obviously it's gonna be covered because it's under like a service warranty recall thing. You're not gonna know about it unless you know about it, okay? Because it's not that type of a recall. But anyways, let's go ahead and get it changed and then I'll let you see the paperwork afterwards. Hey, we just saved some money. It's a pain because we had to pack up and leave a couple of times. Hey, it's all right, we got it. So. Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, so we have an issue. When they were uh, taking the uh, unit off, the piece off that needs to be exchanged, the SCR, they broke the brackets. So they don't have them in stock. Why you wouldn't have something like that in stock when you know you're changing something that brackets could possibly break in order to complete the job, I don't know. So they have to order them from Freightliner. They said they ordered them for overnight. Today is a Thursday. They should be here tomorrow, but he said they're 50-50 chance they won't be. That they won't be because Freightliner never does the overnight thing. It's like sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. So then he said they may not be until Tuesday. I'm not sure. Well, why they that's may not Monday. be in until Tuesday, which means they're closed on Monday. I don't know what's coming up Monday. Is there a holiday or something? Oh, sure. Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. So they're I closed on Monday. Is. That's why you said Tuesday. Yep. So now a Thursday one day, two or three hour job has now just turned into a possible four day job, five mm -hmm. day job. So we're so heading we'll let back. you know what's up with all that. We're heading back to the coach now to pick up some of our stuff, Gunner's food, our food, our clothes, things we may need for the weekend. So I would suggest that whenever you take these things in, make sure that Cummings has everything there to complete the job if something comes up. This is a, I mean, seriously. I mean, to me, it's a no, I worked in a garage. To me, it's a no brainer. You need to have this stuff there in order to complete the job. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. So, but anyhow, uh, past all that, that's what's turning into. So just be aware of it. It could turn into a little bit of a uh, longer process than what you anticipate. Mm -hmm. so. Keep okay. you informed. We'll but I do want to say this. We are thankful that we're getting this done. Because if we were going back, let's say to Pennsylvania, and it went out and it threw the coach into limp mode, or worse yet, disabled the coach, then we would have to have it towed. Blah, blah, blah. This could turn into anywhere between a $5,000 bill to a $10,000 bill on our expense to have it done. So all my complaining i'm still very thankful that we can get this done yep anyways guys this here is the scr this is the old one and you see lots of lots of rust and whatnot but uh I'm not sure exactly why they are asking to have it taken out and replaced i'm not sure what the issue was but this is the new one so looking good we have a great guy working on it good mechanic they've been very kind to let us come in and grab some stuff but guys it goes inside here it's actually up up underneath there which i can show you here real quick it actually goes right up above here so that will be it all right guys thanks a lot take care see you later Hey guys, Dave here. Hey RV here. Chronicles. We're what? back. Today is Friday. It's around, what time is it? About quarter after three. Yep. We did get a phone call roughly half hour ago, maybe or a little bit later or earlier. 
uh, that the, whoops, you have to put that phone down, I almost ran into that car. Okay, there we go, that's good. And um, anyways, we um, got the phone call that the motorhome is done, they got the SCR on. Like we said yesterday, they did call us and they said that they needed to get a, um, a hanger to hang, uh, because they broke it, you know, taking it off, to hang the uh, SCR back up to the frame and whatnot. So they had to get a new hanger and everything overnighted. They didn't know if they were going to be able to get it by today, but they did. And uh, they got it, got everything back together, ran it through its paces and everything checks out, everything is good. So we're heading down to go pick it up. So we got it done. Yay! Yep. So we'll show you guys uh, what it is. You Thanks right a lot for coming along with us, and uh, you'll see you'll see it here in a little bit. So. All right. So we are here picking up the motorhome, and uh, yeah, got it done. Looks good. Let's come over here and check this out, because this is where it's at, and that's actually the piece that they replaced so that's it that's the new hanger up top up there these right here right there and right there so uh, yeah good deal so we got it on everything looks good what do you think I'm ready to go home and get set up and get settled finally right yeah yeah Settled finally left in October. hey guys hey well guys. we finally got it done we're back, back on. <sighs> it's been an ordeal but it hasn't been that bad no, it hasn't been no. bad. <laughs> um, but basically ever since we've got the coach since we've been in Florida so we've had it now for what about two months now maybe two months. It's about two months yeah okay i mean really since we left pennsylvania in october we have not been like settled because yeah. we've been needing to move needing to move been with my brother um, keep him in prayer uh, he has pancreatic cancer so please keep him in prayer um but anyway so now that we're here we still have never really decorated or tried to do much of anything uh, we are doing some remodeling, which we will show you a videos later. I'm putting this here video out of order because we need to get this up. Because if you need to get this done, you need to get it done before the 22nd of February of uh, this year, 2024. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, guys, it wasn't that bad. No. Cummins took care of it. I will show you the paperwork here real quick. I just took a screenshot real quick of it and... Um, um, yeah, get it done. Get it done. And I'll send you a link to where you can download, um, yeah, the recall thing. So, all right, guys. So thanks for coming <sighs> along with us. Yes. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for bearing with us on trying to get back into uh, doing video because I know it's really bad. It's really choppy. It's not there yet, but we're getting there. Uh, we'll get back to it. So anyways, God bless. Take care. And... Bye for now.